Morning everyone, hope you're well. I'm going to cover today a bit of accumulation and distribution. Okay, so what is accumulation and distribution? Richard Wyckoff, you can Google him, he's on uh, Investopedia. Distribution typically looks like this. That's your distribution. That's your, that's your distribution Wyckoff schematic. And then the same can be said for an accumulation. You know, the market's been trending down for a while and then it gets to the bottom, creates a spring site style formation and off you go. We'll make that green. Okay, so you've got distribution here and we've got Accumulation here. And then within these patterns, and I'm, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm presuming that you've watched previous videos, so you understand what mitigation is, you understand a little bit about structure, and you understand imbalances and things like that. So within a distribution, if it's been tra trading up for a while, that would be like your mitigation like area of a distribution and likewise in a, likewise in an accumulation your mitigation area would be somewhere in there like that now price can go below the mitigation it can sometimes it can just tap into it sometimes it'll wick down but then the bodies will close within the mitigation doesn't matter this is typically what, what we're looking at for accumulation and distribution now when it comes to Wyckoff, you can complicate these things um, and get over technical. You know, you can look at the selling climax here and you can do your automatic reaction in a, in a distribution and it'd be automatic rally and accumulation. You'd mark out your, your buying climax and your automatic reaction and you'd mark out your selling climax and your automatic rally. All right, so let's just say your selling climax was here. That was your selling climax, all right? That's your automatic rally, right? And that would be your trading range. And then you would look for a spring or a UTAD in a distribution, all right? And then after your, you know, you've got your buying climax, your automatic reaction, then you've got uh, an up thrust, sometimes followed by a UTAD, and then you get your minus sign of weakness, and then you get your retracement. And likewise, in accumulation, you've got your selling climax, automatic rally, ST, up thrust action, ST in phase B, followed by a spring, or sometimes if it's just a type, you know, a type two schematic, you won't even have a spring. It'll just be an ST in phase B. And then once we go out of that trading range, you're looking for the pullback. So that's the basics, basis around accumulation and distribution. All right, so if I get rid of them for now, how can we see this on the chart? You don't need to overcomplicate things on the chart of accumulation and distribution. The spring and UTAD are the important things, right? So you can identify a spring and UTAD utilizing volume, right? And divergence. So at the minute I'm looking at AUD USD because later, because today there's been some um, Australian news and we've got a lot of news later tomorrow as well, right? And tonight we've got Kiwi news. So I'm looking at Kiwi and Australian dollar the next two days. But if we look at this bottom here, right? Because remember, we want to buy low and we want to sell high. But we don't just buy low. We look for confluence. We look for confirmations within this area, right? So if I go to, this is Friday, right? Because as I've said before, the yellow lines are the weekend, Monday through to Friday. This is Friday. So AUD USD is making a low on Friday. Well, what's NZD USD doing? It's making a higher low, right? 
So we've got a divergence there between correlating assets. So typically what you want to see in an accumulation is when the spring is being formed in here, you want it to be formed under less volume. You don't want a lot of selling volume unless it's being absorbed and it's obvious. So as this comes down here, notice how the sell volume is much, much less, much, much less than over here, right? That would effectively be your selling climax. On a fundamental level, the selling climax is where the most selling volume came into the market, right? But it's not lower. So this is how smart money accumulates price and distributes price. Because smart money isn't buying and selling with stop losses and small entries like, like us retail traders do trading smart money. Um, large banks are buying here and then buying here and then buying here. You get what I mean, they're dollar cost averaging. So the dollar cost averaging, testing, trying to find the bottom. Then when you get the breakout, they're returning to the, the, where the volume, you need, you need um, a subscription to TradingView to, to get this. The, the, there's an indicator called the fixed, fixed volume profile. If I put that from the top of the move there to the bottom, right, that's telling me all the orders in this down move. I'm just going to zoom in on it, right. So you can see a load of numbers and that's just telling you all the orders in this down move. And this line is supposed to be the volume point of control, right. So this is where Smart Money got their best buys in. And you can see here, as as the price, that last down candle here, it is very, very low sell volume, okay? And then bang, we immediately get an increase in buy volume, All right? So that's the type of thing you wanna see in an accumulation schematic. And it'd be the inverse. It'd be the inverse on a distribution, All right? Now you don't know if this schematic here that I've just pointed out. We don't know as smart money traders if this is the bottom of a very large move on the daily time frame. We don't know if we're going all the way up here, you know, up to this, this area here or higher. We, we don't know that. All we can do is use confluence to get high probability trades in areas of interest. So for example, on the flip side of this accumulation that happened down here, I've just gone through, just recently we've hit a daily candle. And I am presume you've seen my previous video on institutional candles. So you've got this daily up candle that could be a daily institutional candle. Now if we go to the smaller time frame, this is that red line, this is that daily candle. So was there accumulation and distribution, sorry, was there distribution in this daily candle? Because effectively, all this move here is what formed that daily institutional candle, right? So can we see distribution here? Well, all we're interested in a distribution is a UTAD. Does this resemble a UTAD? Yes, it does, absolutely it does. It resembles UTAD. Was there less buying volume when this formed? Yes, there was less buying volume. It was coming down, it was coming down, it was coming down. And was there a divergence with a correlating asset? Well, let's take a look, right? This is not last week, this is the week before, and this is on the Thursday. So on the Thursday of the week before, let's have a look what NZD was doing. It was lower. 
So this is the Thursday um, Thursday price action of the week before, much lower than Australian dollar, which is coming up higher, running on liquidity. I think I've done a video on liquidity. If not, I will do. It's running on all these highs. All right, it's taken out all those traders that have sold too early. All right. This volume, divergence of a correlating asset, breaks down. We've come back into a mitigation formation setup. Okay, I'll well, just zoom in on this area. You know what a mitigation formation setup is because you've watched my previous video. Of course you have. Mitigation setup here. Right? So we've come back into it on the 15 minute time frame. What do we want to see here? How do we know this is distribution? Let's check that last up move there. This 15 minute candle at 8.30 this morning in London was very, very small buy volume for a starters, right? The news in the night was a lot of buy volume. So that's something to be a bit wary of. You want, you don't really, if this was an ideal distribution, you wouldn't want this here. You'd want, you'd, you expect a lot of volume to come in on news events. And this was the AUD cash rate at half five. So it, you can expect a lot of volume to come in. But here's the first telltale signs. We've got a lot less buy volume on this 15 minute candle. This 15 minute candle here. Price is pulling into it now right so this is why i've got this pulled up at the minute i've got a one hour point of interest which is the last up candle here and i've got the 15 minute point of interest for possible sells from new york okay but one thing to bear in mind is this was a, fi a five minute mitigation setup we had a low here that pushed higher we sold through it and came back into it now if price is mitigated here gone lower and now is returning it puts me on the fence because why is it returning it's either returning for two things it's either returning because there's imbalance in here that's still open and it's going to fill that imbalance and sell off or we're going to run higher into this mitigation and create a utad formation up here and if this UTAD is less buy volume and it's a divergence with NZD USD and we get the breaker structure I'll play the retest to come lower does that make sense so that in a nutshell is why distribution and accumulation is important don't get bogged down with all the intricacies of Wyckoff, unless you're a Wyckoffian. I'm personally not, I'm half and half, I'm not really a Wyckoffian, but there are some die-hard Wyckoffians out there. Um, the important thing about accumulation and distribution is identifying the spring and the UTAD in market structure. Okay, so I hope you've got some value from this video today. If you have, please like and subscribe, share it amongst other people, and I'm just trying to help out new traders getting started.